Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings. Dora is still here, we are still heading west on the Great East Road, which is quite funny. Because, yeah, we're going west and it's daytime. How long left of daytime do we have? Sun's going down so we should encounter some orcs at some point soon that we can slay and kill to get our alignment back up with the Dunedine. Hopefully we don't run into any Dunedine before we run into Orcs because we don't want to be on bad terms with the Dunedine, we want to be on bad terms with the Orcs rather than the Dunedine, so... Yeah, what is going on in Ariador today? Absolutely not a whole lot. Anyway, thank you guys so much for the support on this series. Uh, I keep getting comments saying like, two videos in one day, uh, two videos in two days, you really are spoiling us and stuff. So, yeah. I'm having good fun with this series, so why not do it as daily as I possibly can? Of course, SMPDX will be returning shortly. That just takes an awful lot more time than this series does. This series, you literally sit down, record for an hour, do a thumbnail, uh, edit it, and upload it, which doesn't take long, whereas SMPDX, it could take anywhere from a day to two days to actually finish the recording session, let alone edit it and whatnot. So, that's why this series is far more prominent at the moment. I haven't uploaded SMPDX in about three weeks because I do not have a day or two days to actually start on a project. So, that's why. Is that a tower? Let's go up to that tower. That seems very interesting whilst we wait for it to become night time. We will go and venture in this tower, just remember that the road is south from this tower, and then we won't lose it. Let's hope we don't run into any Dunedine anywhere. Otherwise, that could be pretty bad, because they will literally just attack us for being on minus seven with them. I thought you were Dunedine then, Dora. You can't be, you can't be doing the sneaks up on me. Can't be doing the sneaking. So we got a tower. Is there an entrance? Oh, well, if there isn't, we'll make one. Okay, so I kind of want to get up to the top. Because I believe there might be something up there. Not entirely sure. We'll just go up the side like this. Let's grab these up. How far up at the top? Okay, we've got to go quite a ways up, so... Well, this will hopefully take us till night time anyway. And get us up to the top, because I believe there might be a chest up the top. If not, I'm going to be very disappointed. Alright. We're getting there. We're getting there. Certainly getting there. Hopefully, that is the top floor up there. Maybe? I don't know. It's just... Why don't they... they why don't these towers have staircases is what I want to know. Okay, we got a couple more floors to go. Come on. If there's not a chest up here, I'm going to be majorly disappointed. Oh, that's darkness. There's a chest. Brilliant. So we got... Oh, we got some... We got some stuff. Uh, we don't want an Arnorian dagger, but we'll take the silver coins and silver nuggets. And of course... The Glancing Hardy Arnorian Helmet. Uh, plus two protection versus projectiles and 1.25 durability. Oh, we're going to have to take our hat off. But we got our winged helmet on. That's pretty cool. Let's get our uh, valuables pouch and our equipment pouch. Equipment pouch, you can... Valuables pouch can have that. Equipment pouch can have that. Uh, let's put our stuff back over here and we'll chuck the coins just on the floor. Pick them back up. We don't need any of this stuff. And now, since it's getting dark, we should probably head back to the road. Let's just... Hopefully we don't encounter any, en encounter any orcs on the bottom floor whilst we heal up a little bit. Okay, where's an easy way out? Here. Walk that back up. There we go. Let's head south to back to the road whilst we heal up. And before hordes of orcs start spawning. We've got an Arnorian helmet now, so we should have a bit of protection at least. Whereas wearing our little blue hat won't be. We've got protection against projectiles, which is good. But yeah. Haven't seen any orcs yet, and it is quite dark. So if we stay on the road, 
we should encounter some. And then we will be able to slay them. It's awfully quiet for night time. We'll encounter some orcs eventually, right? Or do orcs not spawn in Ariador? Of course they do. Yes, of course they do. Let's kite him. Go on, Dora. Got him. Okay, we got an orc. We, we slayed him. Got some arrows. There are some more over there. Okay, we got some shots in on them. We don't want to get in too close because there are loads of them. We just want to try and attract the attention of one at a time and sort of kite behind the tree. Dora! Get him! I'll save you, Dora. We got a chest plate. Stick that on. No! Shagrat! That's actually an orc from the book. Slave Dora! Dora, why? Okay, let's let's leave the scene. Okay, what did we get? We got a lucky iron dagger plus one looting. We got a Dolgaldor chest plate with some more protection on it. But Dora No <laughs> We lost Dora. Oh, oh well. We better, we better keep moving. We're on minus three with the Dunedain, but what are we on with? Uh, what's it called? Gundabad minus four, but we're on plus. Four. Okay, we need to kill like three more. Is that a bear? That is a bear. Oh my gosh, there are lots of them. I smoke in your general direction. Didn't work. Have my smoke ring. Okay, let's kite him behind the tree. Come on. Yeah, got him. Okay, we need two more. Okay, we got a couple shots off on him. Okay, there's quite a few down there. Okay, let's kite behind the tree again. Oh god, we got two on us. Got that one. This one's got armor there. Stop kiting me! That's my job! And you need to be slain. Okay, run away. That would be intelligent. <laughs> um. Okay, let's heal up a little bit and get back in there. Oh, we've got more arrows now. We got some more shots off on them. Battle axe, go. Okay, we're plus one with the Dunedain now. Let's keep going with this. And after we kill this one, I think I'm going to sleep. Okay, there we go. Got some more arrows. I think I'm going to go sleep now. We have a bed somewhere. Bed. Let's set up our bed over here on the side of the road. Let's sleep and get rid of orc spawns, basically. <laughs> There we go. What did we get? My kill list. Oh, we got some stuff. Okay, let's put stuff that we don't really need in this bag here. We got, we got Dora's pebbles, bless her. 
Uh, we'll put the red book in there as well, actually. Uh, arrows will keep on us. Lucky eye and dagger, that can go in our equipment pouch. The blue hat. And let's read our kill list. So, these maggots deserve to die. They will feel the sting of my blade in their guts. Ogoth, Golfib, and Bulberts. Uh, Radburs and Azsha. I've managed to find another ten lads who have offered to help me kill the scum. Once we're done, we'll loot their bodies and say they fell from the cliffs. The bosses won't know a thing about it. That seems awfully rude, but also quite cool to hang on to. I love little things like this. Right. We should be safer now. We've got a little bit more protection. We're covered in arrows. But... We have got ourselves some arrows to kill things from a distance. So, we should be safe now. We've got a little bit more alignment with the High Elves and Dunedain and stuff. So, I mean, we'll be popular within the High Elves when we next see them. And the Dunedain aren't going to kill our faces now. But Orcs will. But they would have done anyway. Where's the map? There's the map. So, we're, we're um, approaching Tower Hills. Haven't seen any sign of Dunedain yet. I really haven't, actually. They sh they should be around, surely. Where are they? I want to find some Dunedain and get some stuff off them. What was that? Where's the Dunedain? Hello. By nightfall, the land will be crawling with all by Malbeth. Okay, hello, hello, Mr. Dunedine. Malbeth. Not much else. Oh, there's another tower. Do I bother going up to the top of it? I sure do. Hopefully we will find, like, a ranger camp or something. Because we found now a ranger, so... Okay, let's get up to the top of here. How, what blocks do we have in here? We've got ten dirt. We'll just use that as climbing ability. Despite the fact it won't get us near enough up to the top. But you know what? We'll try. One, zero. What other blocks do we have? Two. Co yeah, I can't be bothered with that. Oh, we can use the apple wood we have. And then we'll be able to chop that down with my battle axe. Because now we have an axe. Perfect. What do we got here? We got coins. An Arnorian dagger, which we don't really need, and some iron. We'll take the Arnorian dagger anyway, we'll put that in our equipment pouch. Uh, this uh, valuables pouch and equipment pouch. So, equipment pouch, you can have that, and valuables pouch, you can have that. There we go. We don't really need a skull or anything, so we'll just pop back over, grab back up our scaffolding. Use our battle axe to chop it up. Which I know is a bit of a waste of durability, but we've got 1.5 times durability, so. Basically got unbreaking three, I think. And then this would just use our fists. Come on. Down we go. Almost. Come on. There we go. At the floor now. Put this stuff back in here. Come back to it in a bit. Have a smoke. Because why not? There we go. And get back on the road. And keep going. And hopefully we'll eventually make it to Tower Hills. Because I'd assume there'd be more towers in Tower Hills. And um, we're not actually too far off them. And then after Tower Hills we go to Linden, so... There'll be elves in Linden. Hi, elves. So that'll be quite fun to go and say hello to. But I'm surprised we haven't seen a ranger outpost yet. We'll eventually find it, I'd assume. But not yet. We've killed some orcs this episode, which is good. That was definitely a good venture. Rabbits. They're strange creatures. Remember that one last episode I ran over and it just disappeared? That really confused me. I'm surprised we haven't seen more rangers. 
just the two. No, no, just the one seems a bit odd. We got another tower though, which we will go and have a look at. Because the towers have decent stuff in them. At the top, but it's just annoying there isn't a staircase up to them. Okay. Let's get out our building blocks again. This time starting with the wood, and we'll do the wood dirt on top, because why not? This probably won't take us to the top, thinking about it. Oh, perfect. Oh, a chest plate. Um, okay, that's good. Got an uh, iron sword, which we don't really need because of our battle axe. Um, is this... So we get 6 protection, 6 protection, 24%, 24%. This one's just got more durability. So we'll stick this one in the equipment pouch for when that one breaks. And then we'll come back to it, and valuables pouch will have our stuff. Anything else in there we need? Not really. Time to get back down. Just need to mine one of these blocks. Stick it back, because we don't really want it. And we'll get back to the road. And hopefully not fall off and die, which I know we won't, because it's me. I'm careful. I don't fall off of things. Well, I do. Quite a bit. I was... yeah. But I haven't fallen off of this yet. There we go. Back down to the bottom. Put our stuff back in there. And get back to the road, which was, like, over here. I need to sneeze. But I'm not going to. I'm going to hold it. And it's going to go. And it worked. Good. I don't need to sneeze anymore. And then I just sneeze. But I d I'm not going to sneeze, I promise. There will be no sneezing. Okay, come on. Let's keep going. We need to, we need to find a Dunedain outpost. Oh, speak of the devil. Just spotted that one just over the hill there. Perfect. We will actually be able to get some stuff and maybe even trade with one of the Dunedain up there. Possibly. I don't know how much alignment you need to have to trade with the Dunedain. It differs between different people. But we have got a Dunedain outpost here. Hello, hello. I know you guys have some stuff for that I can come and commandeer. Coming up. Hello. Hello, Mr. Dunedain. Who are in the range of the north? Many folk dwell... Uh, here, consider us bandits or outcasts. They do not know our true duties. You are not a bandit because I got attacked by bandits and you haven't attacked me, so. You're definitely not a bandit and you are a baron. It's not nothing. It's not for nothing we watch these lands. Tops of Tromsham. Many beasts nest here. We will take your crafting table if you don't mind. That could come in useful. If we ever need to craft anything, Dunedain, we'll hold on to that. Up the top is where we have more stuff, though. In the chest. Ranger bow. Brilliant. That's more what we need. Hardy ranger bow. So that's just range speed, range damage, draw speed, range... Yeah, well, we'll take that. We can put our hardy bow in our equipment pouch anyway. Now we've got a hardy ranger bow. Which is... better. And we can smoke off your balcony. Goodbye, ranger people. No one to trade with or quest with today, but where's the road? North, over here. We did find a ranger outpost and we got a better bow, so that's good. So we got a lasting Dalish battle axe, a hardy ranger bow, and a lasting hobbit pipe. I'm not sure what the pipe's going to come in useful for. And we got a, ha a handy wooden pickaxe. Again, we should probably upgrade that. But we don't need to for now. It serves its purpose quite well. There's a fish down there. I know someone who'd be very happy with that. He lives up in the Misty Mountains and we had him last season and he was just a party animal in the bedroom. That was Gollum. He was just raving, 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 raving. But we're not, we don't have Gollum at the moment. We will find Gollum eventually. Actually, we probably should try and find Gollum. He'd be a good sidekick because Dora's dead. Dora died. Dora got killed by Shagrat. Look. Your hired unit, Dora... The Hobbit Sheriff was slain by Shagrat. Rip. 
absolute ripperonies to the Dora, our sidekick. Rest in peace. We will forget you. Okay, so we're coming into Tower Hills. No, we aren't. Yes, we are. What differs in Tower Hills? Emin Briad. Who are these guys? Oh, they're elves. The Lindor. Oh, so it's part of Lindor. Lindor? Lindun. We're not eating chocolate here. Hello, Lindon elves. We are your friends. Hello. Oh, there's rangers here as well. And a ranger camp. Brilliant. Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully you guys will have some... Yep, I'll run into you too. Hopefully you guys... Oh, arrows. Perfect. We need some of them. Hopefully you guys will give us quests. Because I want quests. What do you have? Can we trade with you? Oh, no. That, that's the how you hire units. So we need to get a little more alignment. And we got more food. Yay. There we go. We'll hold on to that. So the hobbits aren't the only place to get food, so... Don't need any more sticks, do we? Well, hello anyway, everyone. I am... Um, oh, excuse the battle axe and the armour, I ran into some trouble on the way here. Hope you guys understand, but... I'm gonna keep going on my way. And make it down into Linden. Through the Tower Hills. So that's quite cool, we've uh, made it kind of into Linden, we're in Tower Hills at the moment. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to make it into fully Linden up here rather than just Tower Hills. And then we'll be able to find some Elvish stuff because that would be quite cool to find. Because the Elves love us, look, we're plus nine with them. Which is good. Um, I know someone who doesn't like us, that's Gundabad. But we're not going to be going to Gundabad soon, so it's alright. They just all chill. Rangers and Elves alike, they all chill together. Which is quite a nice way to live. We are just going to keep heading on through the Tower Hills. And I haven't actually seen any towers yet. So these Tower Hills are lying to me. Haven't seen a single tower in Tower Hills yet. I just realised this is taking a little bit of a beating. Don't look at the sun. That's not a good thing to do. Hello. Did you get a horse? I want a horse. They got horses. Maybe we'll be able to find a horse somewhere. That would be a good thing to do. Kill this bird. Eh. Eh. No. Rabbit, yes, though. No. Come back. Simple. Killing rabbits is easy. I'm a professional at it. Okay. Where, where are things to do? Hello, Rangers. Who are you? I'll talk to you. That's Berigond. And you are... Iolus. Good to meet you both. Seem like quite quiet folk, but... You know what? So are we. Except we talk to ourselves for an hour whilst walking. So, you know, not the quietest of folk, I guess. We're probably interrupting the peaceful, calm nature of the Tower Hills, so... You know what? We've made it quite far from where we started. It's quite a big space to explore of Ariador. I struggled to say that then. Um, yeah, we're not gonna. We're just gonna explore like either side of the road, which I mean, we're not gonna find too much. But you know what? It doesn't matter. That's how we're gonna do it. And we need to find something interesting because there's nothing here. It's just elves, none of which have quests. I want quests. I want a quest to do. That's why the Shire was more interesting. They actually gave us quests to do. And we've actually run out of pumpkin pie now, so we're going to have to get a new thing of food. We'll use up the steak now. Steak seems like a good option. Right. Let's go. Except let's let's rearrange my inventory a little bit. That's a little better. So now we have food and our battle axe right next to each other with our bow there. We got 14 arrows, so we got quite a few. And I don't think we're going to run into many more orcs. Just rangers and elves. I mean, I don't know if Tower Hills gets crawling with orcs at night. 
But we will see. I doubt it if there are elves here. But again, we will see. We haven't actually found any sort of structure. It's just trees in this road. And various elves and rangers just sort of milling about in the trees. Which, I mean, should, should, let's go talk to some elves. I haven't really spoken to many elves. It's a ranger in a tree. This is Niprendil. What tidings do you bring? I bring news from the... I am an elf friend. Oh, what, what's your name? Erenda Arsenu. And you were... You were just Nipendil. Who are you? Edhelos. Boring. No quests. We need quests. Give us a quest. Like, kill Gundabad orcs or something. Then we can venture back to Ariador at night time. But no. You just want to... Be peaceful and stuff because you're elves and that. The rangers also are a bit elf-like. They like peace, but they also do protect us. We gotta thank the rangers for being like that. But I like this hat. It's got wings on it. I don't know if you heard it. My um, grandfather clock downstairs just went off. Just chiming and chiming. I don't know if that actually gets picked up by the mic or not, but it distracted me slightly, so. Let's see if we can. Smoke a little bit whilst looking into the sun. That hurt my eyes a little bit. More orcs. More orcs. I don't see any orcs. Sheep, elves, and rangers is what I do see. Just drinking and. Stuff. I want to be friends with you guys. Give me quests. No quests? Fine then. Gonna keep walking. And what's the time? Time? What do you mean what's the time? It's what's the distance? We're almost to Elostirian. So hopefully we'll find some sort of structures at Elostirian. Or just something other than boring path and a boring elves that don't give you quests. Oh, hello, Ranger. Hello, Beleg. Hello. God, there's a lot of them, and not one of them has a quest. Not one has a quest. Come on, you can do better than that. There's flags everywhere as well. I uh, seem like birch trees are quite popular in this land. Which, I mean, it's birch. It's not the worst of the wood types. Well, it's the worst of the logs, anyway. Because what can you realistically do with birch logs when building? This is not too much use. This is really not too much use for them. But there's lots of sheep here as well. What is it with Tower Hills and being home to sheep? It's like whales. But let's keep going. We got a while to go, and Malos, a shadow rises in the east. It's a cloud, my love. It's a cloud. I don't know what you said. Uh, scary languages. Run away. <laughs> Run away into the west, into the sunset. That isn't setting yet. They have scary language. Scary language I don't understand. What's down here? It's a cave. Don't really want to go down there, do I? Want to stay on the road. And find things to do. Is that a raven? Scary things, ravens. Peck your eyes out. Hello. Our time in this world is ending. Oh. The world has changed. I can feel it in the water. I can feel it in the earth. And I can smell it in the air. Stop telling me these things. You're making me feel like we're all going to die soon. And I haven't died yet. I faced off nine orcs and I didn't die. Single-handedly. Well, we don't talk about Dora, but single-handedly. Dora Dora doesn't need to be mentioned again. Dora we forget. Because Dora cost me 20 coins only to go and die in battle. We need a Dunedine is what we do need. We need a Dunedine friend, but we need to get like plus 100 with them. 
Which, I mean, won't be too difficult once we get some quests with you guys. Oh! It's an elfin quest. Collect a ranger hood. Except, we have a ranger crafting bench and leather, so... Two leather. We need to find more leather. Right, well, let's... Let's uh, search ranger. Ranger hood. I think it's just leather. It won't tell me the crafting recipe. We need to find a cow. Or a horse. Or something that bears leather. We will come back for you. And do your quest. We just need to find... Like, we need to find leather bearing... Things. Rabbits don't drop leather. We need a cow or a horse. It's where we should have got leather in the Shire from. Come on, we need to get leather. We're doing this quest. I hope orcs don't spawn here. I highly doubt it. Let's not stray too far from the road, but we will need to find cows. Or oh, rocks. Deer. Deer don't drop leather, right? Should we try it? <gasps> they do. Kill all the deer. Need to kill like three. They make weird noises. Oh, there's a building. It's a tower. We'll go there in a minute after we kill our third deer. We found a building, everyone. We've got our... we got the leather we need anyway. We can craft up a ranger hood now, then. I believe this is how you craft them anyway. Yep, ranger hood. Brilliant. We'll hold on to that and give it to that elven woman. <laughs> In a minute, after we've explored this tower up here, we'll go back and give it to the elven woman. Because she wanted a ranger hood. Hello, rangers. We're going. We're just going to see this tower. Is that all right with you? Sure it is. We're friends with you, so you don't want to kill us. Just want to come and have a look in your tower. Which I actually believe is probably an elven tower. Oh, you've got a quest as well. 19 cooked venison? Let's, let me check my food pouch. We have 14. We will get back on you, back to you on this, after we get a little more cooked venison. Then we can do some questing and stuff. There, this is an elven tower. Of course it is. Do you have cooked venison in here, elves? Hello? Oh, you look mean. Let's get up the top. Hopefully we'll have something up the top here. Apart from angry looking elven people. In a lovely white tower. This tower is lovely, by the way. Got an elven crafting. We'll, we'll collect that. Mine. Thank you. Nothing else? Oh, you got a... A lord, but we don't need you. Because you don't have anything. We don't... Yeah, we don't... We don't have enough to get you. Let's just... Let's just leave. Kill more deer for some raw venison to cook it. For you. For you, Ranger, but for now. We need to find more deer. How do we not get any venison from those deer? Like, hold on a minute. How did we not get any venison? Where we just killed, like, four deer. Let's find more deer, is that the case? And we need to find the road, which is just, yeah, continue on south a bit. And hopefully we will run across more deer, because I want more venison. Because we need, uh, five more. Five more venison for Mr. Ranger person. Should have collected more venison back at the Shire. It's a bit late now, though. Shire's quite far away. Okay, there's the road. Where is the questy elfie lady who wanted the hood? 
She is just over here. East a little bit. Where are you? Nope, it was west a little bit. It was Lindir. No, oh, Lind I recognise Lindir. Where do I recognise Lindir from? Lindir the elf sounds familiar anyway. Where is that from? That is Lord of the Rings, obviously. I'm just trying to remember which elf it belongs to. Obviously, Lindir. But, like, what significance is that? Hello. Lin uh, Mr. Lindir. There we go. Hi, elven friend. Fair and free. We got quite a few with the high elves then. Gosh. Right, we need to find venison. Venison for Mr. Ranger Man. But they just drop leather. Which doesn't make sense. We need to find venison. But we can't find any deer. And you know what I say to that? Oh dear. Bad joke, I know. I'm sorry. I apologise. But to be honest, if we don't find deer in the next, like, sort of five or so minutes, we're not going to continue doing this quest. We'll just end the quest and say, sorry, don't have the venison. My bad, or something like that. Because we have plus two with the Dunedine, so... I mean, can't be that bad. Can't expect us with just plus two to get your venison when you demand it. I've only got 14. How much do you need? 19. 14 should be enough. There's that tower again. So there were deer around here. A sheep. They don't drop venison, they drop mutton. Where is the deer? We need ourselves some deer. We are literally going deer hunting. And there aren't any deer because I hunted them all and got zero venison from it. Unless we have uncooked venison in the food pouch. No. Of course we don't. Why would we have uncooked venison? Well, we don't anyway. Okay, I don't really want to go too much further, so we'll just peek this hill over here. I don't want a beach sapling. Some people on horses down there. And another... T All right, we'll go to this... T uh, deer. Deer, deer, deer. Give us the venison you promised. We are coming for your venison. Venison! <laughs> we got two. Alright, we need uh, two more. Oh no, we need one more venison! Uh, we need one more venison. There won't be anything in this tower because it's an elven tower. They don't really have much. They just have, like, drinks and stuff. Which we're gonna drink. We don't have anything up top apart from, like, a friend and they have a carrot. Well, now you now we know why these elves are all slim. They're all starving themselves by just eating carrots and stuff. Hello, elven person. Do you have a quest? No, you just had a spiky thing on your head. Hello, hello. God, these towers are tall. Hello, we're here. I made it. What do you... Nope. No elf would follow one as young indeed as you... Tom Chum into war. Well, I'm sorry. We've only d we've only got plus 20. We need, like, plus 100 to be able to talk to you. Because you're all a big man and important, aren't you? Of course you are. You're an elf. Big-headed people. I prefer dwarves. They're nicer. Well. They're better. I prefer dwarves. I can shut, shut the door in your face. We need one more venison. But where on earth does one get one more venison from? A deer. But where does one get a deer from? Tower Hills. Whereabouts in Tower Hills? I don't know. We need to find Tower Hills. Deer. One more. One more little pack of deer. And then we can get us our ranger points. 
We can get us some more ranger points if we do this. Dear. Dear. Oh, dearie me. Come here. Silly deer. We got it. We're done. We've got our... We've got enough venison. Where is our furnace? Actually, let's use the Hobbit oven. Let's get out one wood plank. That should be enough, right? Okay, maybe we need two. Just in case. We'll stick that one in. We'll get our venison, go give it to Ranger Man, and he will love us forever, basically. And we will have some friends. There we go, cooked venison. <laughs> hey, the game made my pun. That was my pun. I made it first. That's not fair. Okay, we need to go pretty much south. Up to that tower over there. But the game made my pun. I, I made it first. That's not fair. I started it. Game Game cheated. Game broke it. No, it didn't. It didn't break anything. It just stole my pun. Which has broken me. I left this one's door open. I'm sorry. Let's shut your door. There you go. Hello, uh, Ranger Man. Errand Scout. What's that mean? Got lots of lovely thing. Right. So what what does Errand Scout mean? Complete a Duna Dying quest. Okay, so we got lots and lots and lots and lots and of alignment with people, which is good. We're getting there. Let's head south back to the road and keep moving. Because we wasted too much time doing these quests. I mean, we just wanted to become friends with them a little bit. Uh, but we did waste a little, little too much time doing this. Hello, LV people. Hello, hello. Let's head back to the road, wherever it is. I think it's down in this valley, maybe. Oh, it's quite a ways away. Let's sort of head in a southwesterly direction, so we're sort of moving the way we need to go anyway. So when we rejoin back up with the road, we're not too far. Well, we we can we're continuing to move far further down the road, which is a good thing. We've done certainly some quests, and there's the road, so we can reconvene back with that now, and keep moving. This is a very clean road. The elves certainly know what they're doing when it comes to maintenance, I can tell you that much. And I say that and there's a big hole in the road up here. Well then. Oh, it's just a dip, it's not a hole, it's okay. Let's keep going. So we've made it past Elysterion, we're back on the Greatest Road and we're continuing up to South Mythlode. And when we get there... We will be taking the northern road around into the Blue Mountains. And it should be a good time when we get to dwarves, because I like dwarves. So, let's keep going. The only thing is, is we don't have any ven venison anymore. We've got one piece of raw venison. And there's aurochs, so let's kill them for their stuff. Let's not get killed by an auroch, that would be embarrassing. Let's just get some leather and stuff to... Beef up our supplies, get it? Because they're cows. Beef up our supplies. So, where we go? And one more was over here. Ah. Uh, there we go. Back in our big backpack, we can put some of this raw food and stuff. That really confused me, though. I thought I put my backpack in my backpack and it deleted itself, but no. That's not what happened. Let's keep moving. And let's not stop again unless it's actually something important. Which we haven't found much of so far. We've just done a couple quests for you, Duna, Dine, and High Elves. But we haven't got to the point of being able to quest anymore because we haven't any found any more quests because no one needs quests just don't want to touch the sapling because then we have to pick it up and drop it and that's effort it's actually quite a peaceful night run this this is quite a nice one uh yeah 
No orcs to kill us. I've only encountered a couple of them so far. I can assure you we will be doing more orc slaying when we get to orc field lands. But Linden's quite nice because it doesn't have any orcs, but the dwarven place probably does. So that's going to be fun. Tower hills, we had encountered a couple of towers. The towers aren't all too interesting, they don't have any chests in them. So we can't steal anything, which sucks, but you know, it's what it is. We haven't found anyone needing any sort of assistance, like quests and stuff, in a while. I know we've just done a couple, but we need more. It's not like Hobbiton where everyone does a quest. There's a quest here for you. What do you want? It's like 29 Gundabad walks. No. Decline. I'm sorry. Goodbye. That was a bit of a harsh quest. 29 Gundabad Wargs? What do I look like? Some sort of warrior? No. I don't have a battle axe or anything. No. We just... Yeah, we're, we're scared of that. We don't want Gundabad Wargs. We just want to give them venison and a hat. And stuff like that. But no, they want us to give them Gundabad Wargs and like kill count of them. How would they know if we slayed 29 Gundabad Wargs? Actually, that's the point. How do they know if we've slayed orcs and get an alignment and stuff if they're not there? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I guess word uh, travels fast in Middle Earth. I don't know how. Carrier eagles. And what is that? A camp. We have a camp. We will go and raid the camp because the camps are quite good to raid, actually. And they have some arrows and stuff for us to steal. Hello, rangers. That's look quite a few of you. Elves, there's quite a few of as well. Right, let's... No, no, it's not full. Let's go. Ranger camp. Hello, hello. Can we talk to you? Obviously, probably not. Yeah. We just need a hundred. Ranger niceness. Hello, hello. We need... Don't want sticks. What? What's this? We don't want sticks. Is that all you have up here? It's ta we don't want to go to the towers. The towers aren't interesting anymore. All you had is some sticks. Let's see why you're on your own, Mr. Burgill. You're not you're not the nicest of guy. You've literally just got some sticks and a tent and a little crafting table thing and you didn't let me fight alongside you. That's not very nice. Anyway, it is getting lighter, which is good. That is definitely a good thing. Right, what are we seeing so far? Any quests from the elves? No quests? Okay. Having a drink, though. How far have we got? Okay, we're getting past Out Tower Hills. Next episode, we will be probably venturing through Linden quite a bit. Possibly making it up to Blue Mountains, but I highly doubt it, because that road... Uh, uh, that road stays in Linden for quite a bit before it cuts through the Blue Mountains past Nogrod and there's Belagost up there and Mount Dolmed and Thorin's Halls but we don't really need to go anywhere around here we just need to go up and through for a little bit see some of the dwarves and visit that area actually I think we might go up to Belagost and back down again just to see the Blue Mountains a little bit more get some quests done and stuff become friends with them and then we will venture back through Linden and back down this way and across over back through the Shire and we'll make our way through uh, the old forest and the Barrow Downs and link back up with Bree because why not we have got some more friends up here we can talk to hopefully they'll give us something to do some quests or something but probably not hello the calm down horse she's got a long face don't understand why we almost got trampled by a horse there. That wasn't very nice. What did we ever do to the horse? I don't remember killing any horses. Wait. No, we did. We definitely killed some horses back in the Shire to get some leather. And we made them into a backpack. No one needs to remember that. That never happened. Don't tell the other horses. 
We don't make a backpack out of ponies or anything. Not at all, no. No, 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 no. No one needs to remember that. And we are on Tuesday for Winter Filth. Shire Reckoning 14.01. So we are... We've been away quite a few days. Now we are getting on our way. Hello, hello, the elves. No quests for us yet, though. Not really much else to see. Some sheep. Hello, sheep. Hello, flowers. Hello, butterfly. Can butterflies give you quests? Obviously not. I just want a quest to do. One final quest for the episode. One final little quest that doesn't involve killing 29 Gundabad wargs. Because... Do I look really look like I'm kitted out to do that? No. I can barely kill nine orcs. I already lost my friend Dora to them. Well, she was only a hobbit. And they do lack a little bit of reach when it comes to weaponry, and I only gave her a dagger. But you know what? Dora did quite well. Never got to know how many kills Dora got. Probably none. Never got to know how Dora basically would have lived if we had got to Mordor or anything. But we will hire ourselves another Hobbit Sheriff when we go back to the Shire. That I do promise you. We will get a new friend when we venture back to the Shire. So another Elven Tower. I think that's quite a nice screenshot there. So we are going to F1, F12... F2, F12, F1. There we go. We got a screenshot. That will be the thumbnail. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That will sort us out. More horses over there. Another tower over there. These towers are quite cool. This is quite a stubby tower. I mean, the only place we can really get stuff from is the tables and stuff on the floor. So, Just Drink your drinks and leave. What did that give me? Strength? Ooh, I feel powerful. You got a quest? What do you have? Slay 16 I trolls? I think that's a little worse than the Gundabad wargs. Mr. Mithrelis. Do you really think I am good enough to slay 16 trolls? Look at me. Look at me. I'm wearing second-hand armor. There's many years old. Look, you have a quest. You better be better than the 16 trolls. 29 spawn of Angmar? Are you mad? You're the look at you, kitted out in your full set of armor with your shield in your spe in your spiky thing, and then look at me in my ragtag clothes, second-hand armor I got off a dead orc and an old bit of armor that's probably many years old, and a battle axe I bought off some random traveler. And who do you think is more adequate to slay sixteen spawn of Angmar, Mister Morfinde, Vorwene, or whatever your name is? Ridiculous. Let me give you some bread or something. That's what I can do. I can give you bread. I can't slay 16 trolls or 19 spawn of Angmar or whatever it was. Ridiculous. Who do they think I am? Some sort of battle goddess or something? No, I'm just some sort of little wanderer. The ugly wanderer, they call me. After a pub. Yes, I have a pub in the Shire named after me. Fear me, rangers. Fear me. Look, they don't fear me. They're just getting drunk. Look, you have a quest. Collect 17 wog bones. What do you want the bones after I've killed the 29 Gundabad wogs? Don't have any wog bones. I have food. A bit of leather. I don't have any wog bones. Who do these people really think I am, really? Like, honestly. <laughs> I'm not going to be slaying any wogs. Any time soon, because I haven't come across them. I'm not going to go deliberately looking out to find them to kill them. I hope you realise that. I want to just give you some bread, give you a ranger hood, give you some venison. You liked venison before. And I want to go on my merry way and not have to kill anything without being attacked first. Does that sound alright? Good, let's go. Do you have any ridiculous quest proposals to give us? Or are you going to be nice? No quests? Okay, see you around. Goodbye. 
Let's see if we actually end up finding a quest we can do before the end of the episode, rather than killing Gundabad Wargs, or Trolls, or Spawn of Angmar, or whatever it is. These fully armoured elves wanting me to kill trolls and stuff, look at them, they've got full armour, I'm just... Ugh. Complaining to myself about in-game people, ridiculous. It looks like we have just about left Tower Hills and made it to Linden. Let's get the achievement, the last fair realm. We've made it to Linden. We've done it. Lena Flam lead to you too. There's a house over there. Let's go raid it and that will be the final thing we do for today's episode because that has been our hour. Already that seems to have gone so quickly. Well, we made some friends with some Dunedain and some High Elves. We killed nine Orcs. We lost Dora. Dora died, but she lasted an episode longer than I thought she would. I thought she would die in that episode. We got some big Elf Towers as well. All right, let's do a little bit of raiding. We'll go slightly over our hour mark. I don't really mind, but we got a seeming little library thing. Ooh. 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 Okay, so we got ourselves a hardy linden sword, a linden long spear, none of which are better than our battle axe. Got a linden lasting linden, linden helmet, which is not as good as that, and we got some linden leggings, which we should put on. But we got some more equipment for our equipment pouch anyway, that's quite a good find. So we got some backup gear when for when our helmet and stuff breaks. What do we have on the upstairs? We've got a chest with... Books, another Linden Longspear we don't need, and a Ranger's Guide Volume 3. Okay, well, let's read the Ranger's Guide Volume 3. A Ranger's Guide Volume 3, Medicine and Herbal Knowledge. You are, now a you are now a warrior, however, you are not yet a ranger. Two things remain. First, you must learn our healing arts. Then you must learn how we move about the wilderness. This book will guide you to learn how to heal and the herbs that we use. Healing is an art that, the ra that we rangers have kept alive since the days of Numenor. You will soon receive a longer book that will commit them to mem that you will commit to memory, which will list all of the herbs found across Middle Earth, their appearances, their uses, and their names in both common tongue and the noble. This book, however, will cover the basics. Skilled healing often demands the use of herbs, which can produce various beneficial effects. Herbs can be either brewed into a tonic or applied directly in poultice. Poultices are only used by skilled healers that know what they are doing and why. You will eventually learn, but for now, you merely need to know how to produce a tonic by crushing herbs into a bowl of fresh water and leaving the mixture to sit. Your guide to herbs will explain more. There is one herb, however, of particular importance which must be mentioned before all else. Aethalus. You already know what it looks like, where to find it, and how to care for it. Aethalus crushed into a tonic will produce a brew of immeasurable value. Rightly applied, it can cure the black breath of the nine. It can raise mortality wounded men, mortally wounded men, back onto his feet. It can stave off weariness and hurt, as though granting some some measure of strength and vigor of the elves. Truly, Aethalas is a treasure among herbs. It is rare, however, and so should only be used in greatest of needs. Wow, we've got to learn how to cure people, basically. What do you have here? Miruva. Well, this was a lovely little elven tower with an, a lesson on how to become a ranger in it. I love it. And in the next episode, we will go we will go and raid this big elven tower and that one over there. So I just hit something. Oh, we got a quest. What do you want us to do? 24 spawn of Angmar. You must be mad.